Hello, everybody, and welcome to Boss Online. Today, we are going to be doing presentations about our heroes. We are going to be thinking about who our heroes are, the history, why they are our heroes, what is so inspiring about them, what have we learned from them, how they inspire us every day, and how have they affected our own life. Oh, Masha was just arriving. Okay, so we have... Let's see if Masho has a presentation. We have potentially nine presentations today. Hello, Masho. Hi. How are you? Good, and you? Great. What's new? Nothing, really. Okay. Do you have a presentation? Yes, I do have a presentation. Excellent. Okay, so we have nine presentations, but we also have two people who did not prepare presentations. We will ask some questions if we have time. Okay, Max and Alexandra. You don't have presentations, but I would like to hear you asking questions after each presentation, okay? Okay. Um, also, everybody, feel free to ask questions after the presentations. Make some notes if you think of something, and we will ask questions afterwards, okay? Okay. Yeah? Neil, you know the few sentences I said um, already? That was my presentation. Should I um, replay a uh, repeat? Yes, one second, when we start. <laughs> that was your presentation, I thought that was a conversation. All right, so Leanne has kindly volunteered to go first, guys, so I'm going to mute everybody. Um, and I'm going to, Leanne, we can have, I think your, what you said before, we can have a good conversation about. So let's see. Okay, everybody is muted. Leanne is Should I say it again? Because I already said it, but... All right, um, so okay, I'm not really going to talk about my hero because I don't really have one. And I think in this world there are so many heroes and I think in this time we are all heroes because we stay home. What a beautiful presentation. Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys, while everybody is on mute, um, would anybody like to talk about a hero now because of the coronavirus? Did anybody experience something which was amazing because um, somebody was kind to you or somebody helped you or somebody did something which was very which was very nice for example in the uk all of the people who work in the hospitals all of the people who are delivering food working in the shops or so we can buy food they are our heroes in fact every yeah. thursday every thursday night in the uk at eight o'clock we go in front of our house and go like this Everybody, everybody does this, and everybody is banging like on glasses, on pans, and things like this. Has anybody had an experience like this? Blanca? Um, um, here we do it every day. Oh, really? What time? At like the same time? Wait. Yeah. Wow. Every day. Kazakhstan. Arsene. Uh, in Kazakhstan, we are singing our hymn uh, every Saturday. Very nice, every Saturday. What about in Italy, um, Samuele? Well, um, we are in Siena. We, we have um, everybody uh, sang the, the anthem of Siena nice. one night. All the city together. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Uh, Masha? Me, me. In Georgia, we have like, it's on mostly on like uh, some kind of days. Like on Easter, we um, clap at 12 o'clock at midnight. For all of the heroes of the coronavirus? Yes. Every Easter? No, like when the coronavirus came. Okay, very nice. Okay, guys, does anybody have any questions for Leanne? Any comments? Anything to say? All right, then. Thank you very much, Leanne. Now we are going Thank to you. move. Thank you, Leanne. We're going to move to Arsen in Kazakhstan, who will. Oh, something happened to my computer. Um, what happened? Okay, we're going to move to Arsen in Kazakhstan. Hello, Arsen. Please tell us about Hello. your So, my presentation is not so short. Good. Okay. Can you see my screen? Let me make you the spotlight so you can present. Okay. Uh, 
one moment. Can yeah. you see? Uh, one moment. Yes, we can see it. Okay. So. My hero, the hero of the Arsa Ramazan. Here I'm with my dad. Me and my dad. First, my hero is my dad. He taught me lots of a lot of things. For example, how to speak the Bible or how to read when I was a baby. And then I grow up, and he started to taught me uh, to teach me the math. Asen, but what? Um, we can't see your presentation. I think you need to click on it. One moment. Something. We, we can see your screen, but we cannot see your presentation. I'm gonna stop and again start. Maybe let's try. Can you see it now? Yeah, okay, perfect. Yes, okay. Arsene, we cannot hear you. <laughs> Can you hear it now? Yes, perfect, okay. My hero, the hero of Arthur Ramazan. We cannot hear you. No. No. Yes. Here I'm with my dad. Me and my dad. First, my hero is my dad. He taught me a lot of things. For example, how to fix the bike or how to read when I was a baby. And then I grow up and he started to teach me the math. Uh, but at that time, I was active guy and he brought me to the football section. So he taught me different kinds of sports, or more activities, and because of that, I'm healthy. Okay, Arsene, stop. We cannot hear you. We could hear you, but right now it's stuck. Okay, I'm gonna. Wear How good? My... Okay, maybe I'm gonna uh, wear my. Uh... Now is per. Now is perfect. And then it will be better. Arsene, now is perfect. What about now? Perfect. Okay. Okay. Here I am with my mom. Stop, Arsene, again, it's, the microphone is gone. No, no, what, is, what about now? Perfect. Okay, I'm <laughs> gonna tell like that. Uh, second, my hero is my mom. She prepared uh, me to school. She taught me a different subjects and ta talents like music. And she wrote me to the Dombra section when I was five years old. And now I'm playing Dombra five years old, five years already. But before the Dombra, she taught me English uh, from my three years old. And in this age, I knew how to count and colors. And I'm excellent student in school. Thanks for all of this, mom. My best friend from England. Also, I have a third hero from England. Uh, he gave me the chance to introduce, uh, to introduce, one moment, to introduce uh, with different kids uh, from different countries, open uh, he opened the Boss UK and he, his name is Neil. I didn't know him until the 2018 year. I met him in the dinner before the exhibition and we were very interested to know about us more. So Neil, I'm very grateful to you too. Thank you very much, Neil.
Thank you, Arsene. Here we are in Tashkent exhibition <laughs> together. Oh no. <laughs> Um, thank you, Arsene. Wow, I am honored, Arsene, really, thank you. Well done, yes, Arsene. Thank you. Arsene, I am so honored to be one of your heroes, and you are one of my heroes as well, because when I meet you, I always think, wow, you are amazing, you are great. You're only 10 years old, but you're so confident. And when I was in Kazakhstan, you helped me a lot, so, so thank you very much, okay? I feel emotional. Any questions for Arsene? No. Any questions? This was a very nice presentation, Arsene. Thank you very much. Um, any questions no. for Arsene? Okay. Next, we are going to have Anastasia. So, guys, I'm going to mute everybody. We are going to go to Anastasia. Hello, Anastasia. Hello. Um, so I want to talk about my hero, hero and he is Nelson Mandela. Uh, Nelson Mandela was um, an activist that defended um, a social rights and he was born in South Africa. And uh, uh, when, like, he, when he went, uh, when the apartheid movement uh, won the election in his country, uh, he decided to start his own movement. Uh, where he and his friend gave like um, legal advices to black people and also campaign against the against the apartheid, and uh, then uh, in uh, his time uh, there were like many uh, there was a uh, lot of hate against uh, his people, and uh, so even if um, uh, his campaign was non-violent, many people were always killed. And uh, soon uh, his movement became um, illegal. And when he refused to like stop campaigning, he went to prison for uh, 27 years. Uh, so um, after he was free from the from the from the prison, uh, he um, uh, continued to campaign, and then he won the Nobel Prize for, uh, the Nobel uh, Peace Prize, and then also became the first like president uh, in America and I found him uh, really inspiring because I'm he risked his life for defending his own thoughts th th and um, he surely like had um, some dark moments in, in his life and yet he never gave up and he realized that uh, forgiveness and reconciliation were, were the most important thing that he had to defend and they were the right impulse to follow. And so he did that. And he always, and I always think about his sacrifice and how he spent uh, 27 years in prison just to defend his thought and then free, um, free the other uh, countries from hate and um, from aid and uh, uh, racial segregation. And uh, he is a great leader and he was a great president and I think we need more leaders like him because they remind us that everything is possible and they inspire us or like he inspired me to go beyond what I think is possible. So um, Nelson Mandela reminds us that everything is possible if just dedicate ourselves ourselves to it and it's a great message to remember um, and it's true for each of us. And each day uh, he inspired me to defend what I think. And maybe I would like to do something big like him. Uh, and he inspired me not to give up and uh, to just like fight against the thing that I, um, that are not great about uh, my country. And yeah, that's why I'm someone that is my hero. Sorry, guys, I muted myself. Very good, Anastasia. Well done. Fantastic. Wait, wait, don't clap yet. I need to. Okay. Well done, Anastasia. I've got a question. Yes, ma'am. So but he became a president of United States or America? I don't know. What? Hang on, guys. I'm going to mute everybody again. I'm going to unmute Anastasia and Max. 
Hello, Anastasia. Hello, Max. What country he became a president? America. America but United States or Amer United States? Yeah. Okay. Hang on. What, 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 what was the question? Um, of what country he was a president? Nelson Mandela. South Africa. Can you hear me? I, yes, I can hear. I can hear you. Um, Max, Max's question was, which country didn't was Nelson Mandela the president of? I still can hear you. Hello, 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 hello. Anastasia, Anastasia. Um, I am going to try to like go out of the meeting and join I don't know what okay um, wait. um some well lay where did you go hang on what's somewhere like ah here sorry somewhere like did you, did you have a question for Anastasia no I wanted to say that uh, he was the president of South Africa I think Anastasia could not hear <laughs> all right one second Arsene, is it a question for Anastasia? No, I just want to ask, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. And, wrong with my computer. Okay. Hi, Andrea, how are you? Good. I'm sorry I was late. I was on a math lesson. That's okay. Do you have a presentation about your hero? No, I didn't have time. All right, no worries. Um, Masho, you said, can you be next? I'm very sorry, but you are last. Oh, okay because you were the last person here and we already organized mm -hmm. before you arrived. Okay. Very. In fact, uh, Anastasia back? Almost. Hi, Anastasia. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear? Oh, yeah, I can hear. All right. <coughs> Max's question, but we answered it already, was what country was Nissan? Nissan? <laughs> no, that's because I know a joke. Um, Nelson Mandela, the, the president of? Oh, it was South Africa. South Africa, Max. Okay. All right. Any more questions for Anastasia? Okay. So, thank you very much, Anastasia. We are going to move next to Samwele. And Samwele, everybody keeps moving. So, uh, there he is. He's here. Hey, Samwele. Hello. All right, Samuel, you are now the presenter, and I am going to mute myself. So, um, I don't have uh, one hero. I have a lot of heroes, uh, like um, my dad, my grandpa, my mom, my grandma, or also an important person like um, how Anastasia was saying, Nelson Mandela. Julius Caesar, big person for the past, but um, I think we can learn something also by the people that uh, are today the heroes, like uh, the doctors um, and people that are trying to fix the situation. I think that uh, we can uh, learn something from every of these person. And um, if I have uh, to have uh, an idol, an idol for inspiration means something. I think um, I will uh, choose uh, Gareth Bale because um, he really inspires me in football. I play football. So Gareth Bale is a Real Madrid football player and uh, the Wales national team is uh, very famous and um, he is one of the best players in the world. He is my hero because uh, I really like uh, the way he plays football. And um, uh, I think um, his passes uh, are fantastic, uh, his technique uh, amazing. And I really want to inspire my uh, type of play football from him. Uh, it doesn't uh, affect my daily life, uh, but um, sometimes uh, I watch uh, videos uh, about uh, his uh, 
skills, uh, his uh, plays, and I really feel inspired. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Not Andrea, I was looking at a picture of Andrea, not a picture, the video, because he's on my screen. Thank you, Samuele. One moment, let me unmute everybody. Sorry guys, we can't hear you. Hello. And I'm sorry I called you Andrea. You look nothing like Andrea. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm sure you're very happy about it. So. <laughs> I'm only joking. Right, guys, does anybody have any questions for Sam Welly? Um, but, uh, you know, Bale uh, played uh, not so good with Messi. He played Jersey. I saw yes. it with... Um, he, uh, with the, Why he played well at the moment? Yes, Arsen. Uh, you know, Bale was played uh, very dirty with Messi uh, when they played with uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona. Uh, Bale did a lot of uh, like offsides and uh, like Messi had a operation like on his mouth because Bale kicked uh, him with his shoes. All right, Arsene, thank you. What do you have to say about that, Samuel? I think uh, you don't have to watch this single game, but uh, all uh, what uh, he has done in his career, that is amazing. Samuel, have you seen the game when uh, Gareth Bell was playing for Tottenham against Inter Milan? Inter, Inter Milan. Internationale. Yes, yes. This was, I think, his best game. Hi, Nina. Nina, come on, Joba. Um, Blanca, did you have to? Did you want to say something? No, no. It was like about what uh, Arson said. Right. That it's true. Yeah, guys, I just want to say though, you know, Messi is is not such a clean player. He's always. No, but she's not, he's not as dirty as as he's not as dirty as as, as Bale. Sometimes he is, but he not so lot. Yeah. When when um, when Liverpool were playing Barcelona, Messi couldn't even get the ball past Andy Robertson. And Andy Robertson is the best. Blanca, hey. do, you, do you remember when the when Barcelona were winning three zero and Liverpool won four zero? Well, but that like there's moments for everything. Okay. There's like um, um, uh, the Barcelona has won much more matches than Liverpool in the history of the world. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll do, I will Google that later because I don't actually know. Okay. Right. Guys, we're going to move on. Thank you, Samuele. Any more questions for Samuele? No. Thank you very much, Samuele. All right. Next, we have Bianca. Okay. So one moment, please, Bianca. I am going to mute everybody. I am going to make Bianca the presenter. Hello, can Bianca. Please, put your mom in, please. Okay. Okay, Bianca, we can see you. We can hear you. You are the presenter. Wait a moment, please. Oh, interesting. Wait a moment, please. My hero, Audrey Eber by Bianca. I read about Audrey Eber in two books for girls. Wow. Uh, wait a moment, okay. Audrey Eber was born rich but, but, but became very poor during the Second World War and very courageous. Then she became a dancer and, a, and, a, and an actress and uh, won even an Oscar. Due to her elegance, she became a style icon. 
Also, Barbie became Audrey Hepburn. My favorite film is Roman Holiday, is which is in which is in which she she is Princess Anne, a royal a royal who escaped the constriction of her of her title of a short time. Then she had two sons and stopped to work becoming a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF to help child in need. Despite her death, her sons go on with her project. She is my hero because she helped the others in a lot of ways in their life and I have learned that you can help people even you are in trouble. When I can, I try to help the other to become elegant with my action, other than my clothes. Thank you for your attention. Wow. Amazing. Uh, one moment. Thank you very much, Bianca. Amazing. Bianca, in my, in my living room here, on the wall, I have a good picture of Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> True. Um, Masha, you have a question? Uh, have you ever watched Breakfast at Tiffany's? Oh, that's so, that's so uh, good. Yes. And also, we have a big book right there in the corner. Hmm. Wait a minute. This film is so good. Okay, wait a minute. I will bring you my picture also. <laughs> Wow, that's a big picture. Uh, my friend, my friend is an artist. He made this. Wow, that's so good. It's pretty to work hard. Okay, any questions for Bianca? This was a very good presentation. Oh, I have a question. Bianca, in the beginning, you, you mentioned two books which you read. Can you tell us the names of the books, please? Uh, wait a moment, please. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, the title is... Uh, wait, uh, wait a Is this? What is it in English? Uh, good night. Uh, good night. Stories for uh, for yeah, rebel girls. Rebel girls. And uh, twenty girls. Extraordinary who change the world. Extraordinary girls who change the world. Yes. Good. I'm just writing this down. Girls who change. The world. I think I bought these books for my nieces, I think. But I want to check because if I didn't, I will. Okay. Any final questions for Bianca? Thank you very much, Bianca. Thanks. Oh wait, Masha. What was your like first impression about Audrey Hepburn? She was very elegant. Nice. It's true. All right. Thank you, uh, Bianca. Thank you very much. Next, we're going to have Blanca. So, here. Yeah. Hello. Oh, sorry. I muted you. Guys, I'm going to mute everybody. I'm going to unmute Blanca. I'm going to make Blanca the presenter. And hello, Blanca. Hello. Okay. So, I have a presentation. Oh, wait a second. Um, so my hero is uh, Rafa, Nadal, Rafa, Rafa Nadal, and is well the greatest tennis player there is, and my hero. Who is he? R Rafael Nadal is a Spanish tennis player from, Mayor from Mallorca. 
He has won a lot of world championships and is very famous. He has an international tennis club in Mallorca too, which is for people that want to play tennis like very well. So, well, he's like, he's called uh, Rafael Nadal Parera, but he's better known, known as Rafa Nadal. Uh, he's a Spanish professional tennis player who ranks second in the ATP rank mm -hmm. ranking. He is considered one of the best athletes and tennis players in history and the best of all times on clay courts. And well, here he is. Traditions. Rafa, Rafa has, has some known traditions. Here are some. He is famous for biting his cup or medal. And also, April is the month in which he wins most tournaments. Please. Why is he my hero? I really like playing tennis, and as Rafa is a Spanish, I know him. I know a lot about about him, and I have seen him play at, at the TV and the real. I would love being able to play like him. He is simply awesome. He is also very friendly with his fans and all of this. And he is one of the most famous Spanish champ champions of all sports. And he is very famous here. My family is uh, like a part from Mallorca and that is why I feel him like very near. What is inspiring, inspiring about him? I feel him quite near as he is from a place I go with here. And he inspires me because me, he makes me want to play more tennis and he makes me want to get better. He also never surrenders. If he loses a match, he learns from, he learns from it. What have I learned? I have learned main, mainly what I mentioned before, but I have learned that as bad as things can be, everything has a sunny side. And also I have learned that for being able to play tennis really well as he does, he hasn't done anything apart from practicing which is something wh whoever could do. One of his games and his best shots in Rome. So these are little videos. Can I can I put them? Are they quick? What? Are they quick? Yes. Yeah, of, of course. Okay. So like, I'm going to cut it like at a certain point. Hmm? Okay. <clears throat> So this is her. This are his best, his best, like some of his best uh, shots from the Roman Master. We can't see anything. Uh, I know. Can you can you see the video? No, we just see your last slide. Oh. Uh. So can I like uh, stop sharing and then share again like this? Okay. Thank you very much, Blanca. Oh, now yes. Thank you, Blanca. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions for Blanca about... Uh, wait, did I put... Any questions? I have uh, one comment. Hmm? I think it's very interesting before Rafa Nadal serves, he always goes... Yes. You know why he does it? It's like, um, so all the, all, all the tennis players have like a little tradition to concentrate. So like once, once bounce the ball and that's, that's how, like what he does. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Blanca. One more time. <laughs> Next, we are going to move to Amina, who is in Kazakhstan. Where is Amina? Is she here? I can't see her. Amina is not here. So, she's not here, right? Can anybody see Amina? She was here a second ago. Yes, I think so. I saw her. I saw her too. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. We'll, go to the next, we'll go to the next person. The next person is Masho. Oh, okay. Masho, um, one moment, please. Hi, Masho. Hi. Uh, wait a minute. You want me to do mine now, you can do yours next. Yes, please. Okay. So, oh, hang on. I'm getting all of the controls wrong today. All right, so. Can everybody hear me? Andrea, one moment. Hi, Andrea. 
I have a feeling I know who your hero is. You don't. Let's play a game. Who do you think my hero is? The Beatles. John Lennon. One of, one of my heroes, yes. You will be surprised. Mash up. The Beatles. Mercury. No. Mercury. He's okay. one of my heroes, but he's not my, my hero hero. Let me tell you. The Beatles. Um, the Beatles, yes, but all right, I will show you my presentation. So, I'm going to mute everybody, guys, so you can hear. David Bowie. <laughs> all right, so hello, everybody. My name is Neil. And my hero is. Bill Shankly. Who is Bill Shankly, you probably all say. Well, Bill Shankly is my hero because he was the Liverpool manager. So his full name is William Shankly. He was born on the 2nd of September, 1913, in a place called Glen Book in Scotland. He died before I was born, so I was never alive at the same time, on the 29th of September 1981, when he was 16, and he died in Liverpool, England. Just some quick information, Bill Shankly became the Liverpool manager in 1959, when Liverpool were in the second division. So now we have the Premier League, then it was the league below. Liverpool were not a very good football team at this time. And Anfield, which is Liverpool's ground, was falling apart. There was no water, the grass was very bad. He was very inspirational, not just to, to the players, but also to all of the people in Liverpool and anyone who he spoke to. He really, really loved the supporters. To him, the supporters were the most important thing. It's like me, to me, you guys, the students are the most important thing. He built Liverpool into the best team in the world, a team which can beat Barcelona very, very easily. He was Liverpool manager until 1974. And even when he retired, Liverpool continued to be the best team when they retired, when he retired. After he retired, within three years, Liverpool won the European Cup. And then they won it again in, they won it in 1977, in 1978, in 1981, in 1984 of course, 2005 and 2019 as well. In fact, he made Liverpool into such an amazing team that um, even after he retired, Liverpool con continued to improve. So this isn't so impressive compared to normal days, but he won three titles, one second division, two FA Cups, one UEFA Cup and two charity shields. Okay, so he was the Liverpool manager. But the thing that inspires me most about Bill Shankly is that he had many, many ph philosophies. He was a very inspirational man. He was, he was amazing. So some of the things, and I want to ask you guys some questions as I go through these. Um, one of the things he said was, a lot of football success is in the mind. You must believe you are the best and make sure you are. So right now, guys, I want to... Unmute everybody for a discussion. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 I haven't finished yet, but I just want to want to ask a question. A lot of football success is in the mind. You must believe you are the best and make sure you are. How can you adapt this? How can you take this into your own world? Forget about football. Raise your hand if you if you would like to say something. Alexandra. Um. Uh. Uh, um, um, I have some questions. Yeah. Um, um, one question is, um, can I ask why he died? I don't really know. I think he had a complication with diabetes. I think he was diabetic and he had some problems with diabetes. Um, me, me, me. Guys, I'm going to continue actually. I'll continue and then we'll do questions after. Okay. Otherwise. Okay, guys. So when I see this quote, it makes me think you have to, it, it, it might not be football. Arsene, for example, it could be playing the Dombara. It could be skiing. It could be anything. It could be your schoolwork. If you believe in your mind that you are the best, then this will help you to be the best. He also said, 
if you are first, you are first. If you are second, you are nothing. Okay. And this is very kind of, people think, oh, this is bad because sometimes when you're second, it's still good. I think if you believe, if you try your best, so no matter if you are fifth in a race or in, in something, as long as you tried your best and you know that you tried your best, you are a winner. Bill came from a very poor background. So he always believed that you had to work very, very hard and you had to understand hard work so that you could produce good work. And that's why he said, no football is ever successful without hard work. If everybody, and this is very important guys, if everybody thinks about along these lines and does the small jobs to the best of their ability, then the world will be better. For example, in BOSS, in our summer school, we have many, many people who are doing different jobs. I do my job, we have the teachers, we have the house tutors, we have um, the different managers, we have the chefs, we have the cleaners, we have the people who cut the grass and do the flowers. And even if somebody does not do their job properly, it can affect everybody. For example, if, uh, if the cleaners do not clean somebody's bedroom, then I get in trouble and it is, Help, it's not helping me to do my job well. So if everybody just focused on their jobs, even the very, very small ones, everything will be better. Guys, no matter what you are doing, and this is something I believe in every day, Bill Shankly said, it's the greatest thing in the world, natural enthusiasm. You are nothing without it. So even if you have to do something which you don't want to do, if you smile, if you try your best, if you are like, yeah, come on, we can do this, then you will do a very good job. I remember once at Boss, we went to the forest and we were in the forest and it was very, very muddy. It was raining and we were with students who are from Dubai. And one of the students, she had new shoes and her shoes were very, very white and she got some mud on her shoes and she was very angry and very sad. And she was going, ah, I am so angry. My shoes are dirty. I said, this is fun, guys. Come on, let's jump in the mud. And then five minutes later, she was very happy to be jumping in the mud because I was enthusiastic about jumping in the mud. Finally, this is something that you should all do, guys. If you are given a job in school, in your house, if you have a job to do, even if it was scrubbing the floor, this is what Bill Shankly said, I wanted my floor to be cleaner than yours. Now, if everybody thinks along these lines, and does all the small jobs to the best of their ability, that is honesty, and the world would be better, and football would be better. Guys, you don't need to think about football, but this is just an example. So what I want is hard work, and no football club is successful without hard work. So every job you get, even if you think it is not important, if your parents say, please, can you clean the table for me? Make sure the table is as clean as possible, okay? Thank you for your attention. You will never walk alone. All right, so guys, the most important thing that inspires me about Bushankly is to always try your best and to always work hard, okay? Masha, uh, wait, does anybody have any questions? No, that was very interesting. Okay, so remember- Can I please rate your presentation? It was the motivation to do all very nice or like that. Sorry, what did you say, Andrea? Can I please rate your presentation? Rate it? Yeah. Out of Three? Ten. Ten out of three? No, 11 out of ten. Whoa, thanks very much. Uh, we're going to go to Masho now because she is the last person and we have five minutes left, so good timing. Masho, let me mute everybody and make Masho the presenter. Hi, Masho. Can you hear me? No, I forgot to unmute you. Hi, Masho. Hi. So, my uh, he my heroes, my heroes are I I I have a lot of heroes. I will share it with you. Wait a minute. Okay. 
My heroes, uh, my heroes are my family members. My brother teaches me new things. My mother helps me with, with being myself. My dad, um, from my dad, I get music taste from, um, from my dad that uh, I love 90s, uh, 60s, and 90s music. They, um, my really important heroes are my friends. I cannot imagine my life without them. My friends are my biggest supporters and I really love them. And I think this girl is my best friend. Um, my best friend, her name is Katska. Now, um, that, um, now that we are in quarantine, we talk every single day. This is her and this is her, but you cannot see her face. And this is a really important dog. His name is Uga, and he's my mother's uh, uh, my mother's best friend's dog. Um, and uh, um, the thing is really important about him that I like really want to see him every single day, but I can't. And the first time he is six or four months old, like two, four to six months old, and um, I walked him. I was the first the person to walk him like outside. Thank you. Well done, Masha. Um, unmute all. Well done, Masha. Thank you very much, Masha, and thank you very much, everybody. Does anybody have any questions for Masha? No. All right, guys, we have one minute left. Very quickly, Max, who is your hero? I don't know. Alexandra, who is your hero? Um, I have a lot of heroes. Um, some of them are my idols. Um, um, Name one. Some, um, like Robin Hood. Um, Interesting. He's invented, but um, a lot of people believe um, that um, like uh, there's so many stories. Uh, people were telling stories about him um, uh, um, 700 years. And um, um, one thing about him that is really nice, like everyone is telling this, that um, he was robbing uh, rich, pe rich people and um, he's giving money to the poor people. He was helping like, um, yeah, poor people. Cool. Andrea, who is your hero? I don't know. Okay, no problem. Anyway, guys, it's two o'clock, so we are coming to the end of this session. Does anybody have any questions? It's five o'clock. Nasana, it's seven o'clock. It's three o'clock. It's, it's five o'clock. It's two o'clock. It's, it's, it's five. Seven, it's seven p.m. in Nasana. Wow. Okay, guys, so you have your dinner. I will have my lunch. Shall we take a photograph before we leave? Okay, okay. wait, wait, wait. Yes. All right, are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Thank you, guys. So remember, tomorrow is very simple. You don't need to prepare anything. And it's the game. game. Who am I? Who me? No, not me. Somebody. Um, but you do need to. I have a question. Yes. What are we doing on Friday? Good question. And on Friday, we will have our art class. Art okay. I have a question. Yes. Uh, do we need to draw this uh, thing or? a uh, person which we will explain uh, tomorrow or something like that this is on friday uh, on friday so on friday we must each recreate our favorite piece of art okay uh, like is there gonna be a, like last time we did an art party the theme was uh, your favorite scene yes like this however guys i'm just going to mute everybody so you can hear me However, this time we will recreate our favorite piece of art by a famous artist. Okay, maybe not famous, maybe you, your brother or your sister is an artist and you love their art, okay? So you must recreate your favorite piece of art 
and then you must show it to us. We will try to guess what it is, and then you will tell us about the art, interesting facts about the art, and then uh, you will tell us about the artist, okay? This is on Friday. I'm gonna unmute everybody as we say goodbye. Any questions? No. No questions. No questions? No. No. Okay. Have a great day. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.